Okay, standing here with John Carmack uh, at QuakeCon 2008, uh, how do you feel? Uh, QuakeCon is always a great time for us to get down here and see the energy of all these people that volunteered their time and came from all over the world to play down here. Uh, it's really a high point. And how is uh, Quake Live running on the tournament? Well, we're, you know, we're inching our way into beta on all of this and coming down and running it as a tournament here. I uh, Definitely some risk involved of us falling on our faces with this, but as I understand it, it's running okay here. It seems to be running nice and smoothly for the people, and there's a lot of people playing the game in the BYOC area as well. You're going to collect a lot of data that you can uh, take uh, progress in, in, in developing Quake Live finish? Everything that's running on Quake Live is collecting a huge amount of stats. So the back end gets everything, and we're just deciding what things we want to wind up surfacing on the web pages. But there's, there's a huge amount of data that's being collected, and then we're going to be figuring out what the most interesting things are to, to kind of show and tell people about. And this is the more players that we get into it now as we start ramping up our numbers, that's going to give us a lot more of the comparative data that we need to really feed into the matchmaking, which is going to be the most important real aspect of the game as it goes out. Can you be more specific on what data is most important? Well, we don't know exactly what's going to be most important now, but every frag is logged with all the conditions about you know what weapon, what your health was, what people nearby were doing, and all sorts of things like that. And we have, I know Marty's got like a list of over a hundred different things that he's considering as achievements and things like that that will go into the game. And there's no such thing as bad data or too much data, so we'll collect everything, but then some of the design will come in deciding what we want to pull out of that to actually present to people. Because we don't want to just throw a page with a thousand statistics at people. We want to show this is the cool thing that you really want to care about. This is a new kind of up-and-coming stat and so on. Uh, Quake Live, is, uh, it's going to be, uh, you can run a uh, Linux client for that? We don't have a Linux client yet. If I, our main focus right now is making sure that it comes out right on the PC for, uh, you know, with Firefox and IE. After that, probably the next priority will be the Macintosh with Safari. But then I would expect that Linux will be uh, something that we want to ser serve after that. A lot of people are talking that Quake Live is going to be the end of modding scene. Uh, do you agree with that? I think it's going to be the opposite because we're hoping to bring millions of new people into the scene. I mean, right now there are tens of thousands of people that are still active in the Quake gaming community, and there are people that are do the modding, the open source changes, and all this type of stuff. But we're going to bring in a whole new generation of people that aren't familiar with that. And Quake Live might be the sort of training grounds for people getting out into the more exotic stuff where people are completely changing the game on there. And eventually the more popular mods and especially the more popular maps will make their way into official Quake Live canon, as it were. So it's going to be easy then to, to uh, arrange tournaments in Quake Live also? Is it going to be possible to, to set a server by yourself? or? So you can't run servers all by yourself in the default setup on here. Tournaments are going to be a big part of the sponsorship arrangements where we're talking with a lot of potential advertisers and sponsors, so we'll have the know the so-and-so sponsoring this tournament and we hope that will be a very regular thing i mean maybe monthly or whatever with different sponsored tournaments on there how it ties into local events is still a little bit up in the air we're we're kind of testing the waters here at QuakeCon, seeing how much trouble it is to set up here whether we can wind up doing this as a package deal for other people we're really not sure yet there's a lot of open questions with quake live still so it's going to be more focused on uh, applications for mobile phones. I heard your keynotes uh, yesterday. It was kind of interesting about uh, iPhone and stuff like that. Well, we've got our three major branches. Still, 80% of the company is on the high-end titles, the Rage and Doom titles on there. But then we have about 10% on mobile titles and 10% on Quake Live. And depending on the success of these things, we'll be growing these as we can. You know, we're looking to bring more people on to make more of an iPhone focus on the mobile side as well as the traditional Brew and Java uh, devices. And Quake Live, depending on how things go in the next six months, I hope we get to keep people on it forever. I mean, I hope five years from now we have maybe more people working on the project than we do today if we've got a user base that can support it.